Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Stories Path of Destinies. We just unlocked the last truth. I was right. I'm so intelligent. There she is. There's Zenobia. Zenobia has feelings for Reynardo. Like, I didn't know that before. Reward, plus two levels. That's like three levels in one go. Ha ha. <laughs> and we've unlocked... What have we unlocked? Four out of four truths? What can I do? There's got to be a way to reach that ending. It's right there. I got all four truths. What do I do? He knew enough, uh. now, he thought. All these truths tumbling around each other in his head. There must be a way to puzzle the pieces together. If he used everything he knew, he could discover a new path to destiny. The book's pages fluttered to the beginning once again. Faster than before? And he fell. So now it's a matter of trial and the error. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course. Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion, and he had a gut feeling that he needed to use that to his advantage. Follow the key! The key is the path to destiny! Renato finally realized that Lapino was a traitor to the cause, and maybe Renato could use that somehow. That is awesome! Oh, we have a new option! Renato could use that somehow. What to do with the knowledge about Lapino's treason? Renardo would be foolish to trust Lapino again. He should confront him, or better yet, find a way to use the traitor against his new master, the Emperor. Maybe Lapino could be a game changer after all. Ha ha! <laughs> Renardo couldn't quite put his paw on when he realized Lapino was working for the Empire. He'd never exactly seen Lapino sending coded messages to the palace, but he was sure. The rabbit had been on too many disastrous missions where he was the only survivor or where he accidentally missed getting on the boat that went down to the abyss in flames. If Renato could prevent Lapino from getting back to the fleet with all the intelligence he'd probably gathered, it oh, might yeah. be worth the trip. Fucking Lapino. <laughs> We're gonna take him down! And the Empire with him. I'm so excited. Oh, he's finally gonna get what he deserves for ruining our love with Zenobia with an arrow to the chest or the stomach. I forget which it was. Why would he even do this? Is he that stupid? Fucking with people. How had they come to this? They'd been on so many adventures together. Lapino had talked Renato out of prison at least four times, and Renato had rescued Lapino from at least two lynch mobs. That's intense! That's really intense, guys. Why are you like this? Wow, what the hell was that? What did I do? I just zipped around like skippity doo. Whoop. There we go. I messed up my combo. I messed up my combo breaker. Oh well. We're on it. We're on it. This is a very wide area. It's very pretty though. Ah, nope. I missed it. I missed everything. Trying to get the freaking ah! There we go. What magic? He'd always felt that the rabbit resented him. 
Peppino was hilarious because he was so down on himself and everyone else. But behind the laughs, he wasn't a happy camper. Ooh, was this payback? Or did the Empire have his little white tail in a vice? Hard to tell. Anyone ever tell you you have a lovely eye? No? I don't know what that's a reference to. It confuses me. Anyone tell you about the lovely eye? What the fuck does that mean? There you go. There you go. Nope. Out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. Oh my god. Oh, why did you never get out of the way? Stupid. His mother never let him wave his sword around at home. He guessed he was still compensating. I mean, fair. Ooh. Healy magic. What is that? What is that? What is that? Elemental resistance level three. If I ever happen to want to use that, which I don't particularly. Anyways. So that was a secret area, was it? Secrety secrets. So what's this way then? Normal area? Is this where I'm supposed to go? No, that gives me more ore. I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing anymore. Let's see. Is this the right way? Who the hell knows? I got another chest though. Whee! Do I need to jump down there? That's my order, thought Renata. Ah! Puns! Such a wit. Okay, okay, I guess we can jump down the well then, right? Right? That's the right way? Jump down? <sighs> Tell me who! <laughs> General Biscuit, or whatever it is. <laughs> The lighting in this area is very weird. Oh, I guess because it's underground. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Okay, last time we jumped down a place, we didn't actually go through the underground caverns. But... Okay. It's all good. It's all good. We are on our way. Oh, hello. You You're not Gandalf. Fly, you fools. There we go, there we go. There we go, here we go, here we go. These fools should have flown. Ravens were landing everywhere from dropships. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, the rabbit would give the Empire all the intelligence <sighs> he'd been stealing from the rebellion, and they'd probably give him a medal. Mm, he'd have to be very careful about how he played oh. Pino. At the slightest hint of danger, the mad rabbit would take off like a... Well, Fair, right? <laughs> rabbit. Anyways. He was more and more extraordinary. Yeah, because I'm amazing like that. Ugh, so much stamina. I don't need that much stamina. It's fine. Um, I guess that would work. This would work. Ooh, yeah. Oh, no. Can I take that one away? I want to put it in here. Ultimate sword foo! Oh well. Next time I level up, it'll be fine. Lapino would betray him. The core was dangerous. Renata had a fleeting idea that the two ideas went together somehow. And then it was gone again. Damn ideas. They never stuck around when you needed them. Aren't ideas just like that? But at least he's getting the hang of it. He's just like, I've been through so many realities. I'm so confused. But whatever. Just just get Lupino. Don't use the core. Here he is. How you doing, you mad rabbit? Lucky March hair. And exhausted. Renato finally reached Lupino. The rabbit was practicing shuffling his favorite deck. Hmm. Now that he knew what the rabbit was... There are a few things about him that Renato didn't find so amusing oh, anymore. You sent me an urgent message saying that you're in danger. Oh, I am. The ravens are coming. Now, I've got a clever plan to kidnap Zenobia. Renato wanted to clap shackles on the rabbit and shout, You're a traitor, and I'm not falling for it. But if there was one thing Renato was sure of, it was that the core of the Sky River was dangerous mostly to its user. 
If he could put it in the Emperor's hands, all Lysengrim III might blow himself and his fleet up with it. Yes, that was it. Uh, hard to say where we're... Okay. Denounced the traitor. Renardo realized how good an actor Lapino was. No surprise, he has been fooled by that traitor. Maybe he should denounce the rabbit here and now, put an end to his schemes, and get some payback. Or... Send the traitor to fetch the core. Renardo realized how good an actor Lapino was. No surprise, he has been fooled by that traitor. Maybe he could give that smug traitor the location of the Skyripper's core, and while Lapino delivers the unstable weapon to the enemy, Renardo can pay Zenobia a visit because we have to string all of the truths together. That makes sense. And. I think I'm going to do that in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then, so bye-bye!